Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Andy Carter. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the tailor-made irons, the P7 family. So back in 2021, they released the P790 iron, and at the back end of 2022, they've released these three. So we've got the P770s, the P7MCs, and the P7MBs. Today's video is all about educating you on what these three irons can do for your game, maybe which set of irons that you would slot your game into, and then obviously from there, you can go out, get fitted, and see if they can improve your game moving forward. So let's see what these three have to offer. Oh, lovely feel. Okay, so the very first club we're gonna start with is the P770. This is a tungsten weighted head. So what this should give you is that kind of more solid feel off the face. It's not the golf club that you would want to be trying to shape your shots with, but what it's designed for is maximum forgiveness, high launch and maximum distance. So it's for your, your higher handicap player that wants to get the ball more airborne and obviously get as much distance out of the club as possible. So the P770 and the P790 are very similar heads. They've both got the speed foam air technology in the head. They've also got the tungsten weighting as well. The P770 is a slightly more compact head. Again, like I was saying before, it's more designed for your forgiveness, your high launch, and your maximum distance. We're gonna move into the P7MC now, which is a bit more of a combination set between the P770 and their kind of MB blade. Oh, that felt amazing. So the P7MC is a very different club to the P770. I'm expecting the distance to be a little bit less because we'll generally find that the loft angle is a little bit higher on the MC. What we've also lost is the speed foam air and the tungsten weighting. So I'm not expecting to have that kind of pingy hybrid style feeling off the face where it makes me feel like i'm going to hit it absolutely miles this is for more your kind of your better player that maybe wants to start to shape it but at the same time they want to have a little bit of forgiveness in there so the sole is still wide enough to create some nice bounce on impact into the turf but we've still got plenty of forgiveness alongside that really nice kind of classic feel they definitely feel incredible off the face though i'm actually really enjoying hitting that that is very very nice on my carry distance i have lost a little bit of distance exactly what i was saying the difference it should be between the p770 and the p7mc like i said we're missing a little bit in the head but there's definitely a lot for me as a, a better player <laughs> there's definitely a lot more feel so let's go into the mbs now these are the clubs that the likes of Roy McIlroy and Colin Morikawa have not only helped build, but they also use them. So they are for the proper, proper player. Ah, oh, it's delightful. For me, there's nothing better than hitting a bladed club. However, the forgiveness on these is an absolute minimal. So the lead, the top edge, the leading edge is one millimeter narrower than the the P7 MCs and the sole as well is also narrower. So it gives you much less forgiveness for the off-center hits, but it's not designed for the player that hits the ball all over the face. We've got to be hitting these absolutely pure. It's a beautiful looking club, very classic looking blade club. And when you know you've got the likes of Colin Morikawa and Rory McIlroy hitting these, you kind of know what level of golf these are aimed at. They're amazing for shaping the ball. So if you want to draw and fade the ball, that's also perfect. You will lose a little bit of distance again in comparison to the P770s. For me, it's looking like I'm about 10 yards shorter with this seven iron than I am with the P770. But again, at my level of golf, I'm not trying to get as much distance and as much launch and height as possible. I'm looking for as much feel as possible. For me personally, I'm probably right in between these at the P7MCs where I get a combination of both. So massively important that you kind of pigeonhole yourself into the correct set of irons and then go and get yourself fitted. Guys, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the subscribe button. Also, follow me on the social media platforms. Lots more reviews coming to the channel. Also, some comparisons a bit further down the line. Thanks again for watching. See you again very soon.